Hey Chiefs Kingdom, Harrison Graham here, back with another video for you guys. Before we get into it though, I want to catch Philadelphia Eagles now, one of our other channels here at Chat Sports, in subscribers. We're less than 2,000 away. We're closing in on Thomas Mott and the Eagles. Come on, the Eagles are trash. We all know that. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. We'll continue to pump out videos four, five, six days a week for you guys. It's youtube.com slash Chiefs TV. The more subs we get, the more videos we can do, and eventually we can publish every single day. So subscribe and stay tuned for today's video. You're watching the Chiefs Report by Chat Sports. I'm your host, Harrison Graham. Let's take a way too early look at the 53-man roster projection for the up coming season. We'll go position by position in just a moment, but a little bit a little bit of background information first. Offseason obviously is in full swing at this point. The NFL draft has come and it has gone and free agency is mostly over. Some guys will sign with teams after June 1st, but uh, don't expect a lot of movement, especially from the Chiefs, Mayor Maybe one or two moves here or there, but for the most part, they are working with what they got. They will have to trim their 90-man roster down to 53 players. So let's jump on into it here. Quarterback is where we'll kick things off. Two years ago, the Chiefs carried three quarterbacks. Last year, it was two. I'm going to go back to three this year. You've got Patrick Mahomes, who obviously is going to be your starting quarterback. No doubt about that. Going to be an MVP candidate. I think Chad Henney will be the backup. But uh, Mahomes, obviously, as long as he is healthy, this will be a uh, team to be reckoned with for the next several years in the NFL. I think Kansas City keeps Henney for another year as their backup. But... I've got Shane Bouchelle making the number the roster as well as QB3. I think Anthony Gordon likely gets released. I think Bouchelle's got more upside and makes the uh, final roster. And the reason I think he's got a decent chance of doing so is I think the Chiefs need to start grooming a young backup quarterback. That's something they really haven't done uh, since Mahomes has taken over as the starter. Chad Henney can't play forever. Like, he's in his mid-30s. Uh, Matt Moore a couple of years ago was a reliable backup. But you need a young guy that you can groom and uh, help grow in your system for in case Mahomes goes down. He's going to be with you for the next decade plus. You'd like to have a young, up-and-coming backup quarterback, and I think Shane Bouchelle could be that type of guy. So go ahead and let me know what you guys think. How many quarterbacks will the Chiefs carry on their 53-man roster? If you think it's just going to be two, type two, think it'll be three, type three, I'm going to go three for now. We'll see. We'll do this video again, uh, you know, in the next couple of months before training camp actually gets going. Two, three, let me know what you guys think on this one. Let's go to running backs now, and uh, I'll throw in fullback here as well. If you include Michael Burton, the fullback, he's a lock to make the roster. We know the Chiefs like utilizing a fullback. I got four. You got Clyde Edwards-Alaire. He's going to be your number one back. Daryl Williams has established himself on this team. He will be RB2. And then I've got Jarek McKinnon edging out a guy like Darwin Thompson for that number three running back role with Burton as the fullback. I think the Chiefs have given Thompson some chances. I don't think he makes the team this year. Maybe he's a candidate for the practice squad. Now, if you guys haven't already, make sure you're hitting that follow button on the News Break app. Go ahead and give us a follow on the Chiefs Report on News Break because, hey, we're trying to catch some of our other channels at Chat Sports on News Break. We just crossed 500 followers on the News Break app. A lot of original content from the Chiefs Report on the News Break app. So hit that follow button so you don't miss any of our coverage over there as well. Let's go to the wide receiver depth chart. I'm going to go with six guys here, five or six. That's typically the number most teams end up carrying. Tyree Kill, obviously, he's a lock. <coughs> Excuse me. McCole Hardman's a lock to make this team as well. I think Demarcus Robinson and Byron Pringle are pretty safe to make it. You got rookie Cornell Powell, who the Chiefs are pretty high on. I'd be shocked if he gets cut. And then if you carry a sixth guy, I think Marcus Kemp makes the most sense. He's a player with some upside. I think he can give you some special teams as well. Who will be wide receiver two? That's the question I have for you guys. Will it be McCall Hardman? Will it be Demarcus Robinson? Byron Pringle, could rookie Cornell Powell come out of nowhere and be your number two wide receiver? Get your votes in. MH for Hardman, DR for Robinson, BP for Pringle, or you can type your CP for Cornell Powell. We go to tight ends here as we go from offense to defense. Travis Kelsey, obvi uh, Kelsey obviously, tight end one, no doubt about that. Blake Bell, I think. 
you know, he's somewhat reliable. You've brought him back after a year with the Cowboys. I've got him as tight end too. And they drafted Noah Gray. So I think he's going to edge out Nick Kaiser. Obviously, Evan Bayless, he'll get cut as well. I'm going a little light. I'm going three at tight end. I think Gray's the wild card here. I didn't love the pick at the time, but I've heard some good things coming out of Chiefs rookie minicamp uh, just recently. So I think... You know, he spent a fifth-round pick, fourth, fifth-round pick on him. I think he's going uh, to make this roster, fourth-round pick to be exact there. I think he makes it. I didn't love what I saw from Nick Kaiser last year. If they go light at tight end, Kaiser could be a cut, cut candidate for this team. All right, let's go offensive line, and this is a tough one. There's about 12 guys that are worthy of roster spots, and you can't carry 12 offensive linemen. I'm going to go 10. Most teams carried 9 or 10. I'm going 10 here. Uh, you got to Orlando Brown, Joe Tooney. They're locked in as starters. Austin Blythe will compete with Creed Humphrey at center, but I think both make the team. Same with LDT and Kyle Long. They'll both make it. Mike Rimmers and Lucas Niang will both make it as well. I also have Trey Smith, the rookie out of Tennessee. I like his upside as a guard down the road. And then Nick Algretti proved last year he can play. So I'm going to take him over Andrew Wiley, who's been in the NFL for quite a while. But he'll compete, and maybe he'll earn a roster spot as well. Is this offensive line ready to protect Patrick Mahomes? Type Y for yes, type N for no. It was a big emphasis this offseason to get this offensive line rebuilt. Brett Veach pulled it off, and hey, if you think it's ready to be an elite offensive line, type Y for yes. If you don't think it's there yet, you can type your N for no. Now, you guys can download the Newsbreak app if you haven't already. I already told you guys to follow us, but maybe you don't have the app yet. And if you want to get it, which you should, because you can keep up with local news alerts, uh, weather, politics, whatever your flavor is, sports, lots of news updates, go to chatsports.com slash ChiefsNB. The Newsbreak app syncs up with your zip code, and basically it aggregates all local stories onto one feed, both news and in sports. You see articles, you see some videos, including some from us here at the Chiefs Report. Go give us a follow like we told you guys earlier. But the Newsbreak app is great because who, who gets the newspaper anymore? Not me. I don't want all this clunkiness at my kitchen table, and i like, oh, I'm reading. No, I spilled my coffee. Can't read the story anymore. That doesn't happen when you have the Newsbreak app. Chatsports.com slash Chiefs NB. Download it over there today. Then, of course, give us a follow. All you got to do is search for the Chiefs Report. All right, let's go to the defensive side of the ball as we go through our early 53-man roster projection. Nine defensive linemen here. I think you're, you're starting four, or your your big three, really. Frank Clark, Chris Jones, Jaron Reed, they're obviously locks. Based on what the Chiefs did this offseason, I think Taco Charlton makes this team, as will Michael Dana. I think Tershawn Wharton proved last year he's going to make the team. I think Derek Noddy will as well. Joshua Kando spent a draft pick on him. I've, I've got him making it. And then Kalen Saunders, who's been okay, he's kind of on the roster bubble. I think he makes it as well because, remember, the chatter around Chris Jones, who I'm expecting a big year from this year, he's going to play some defensive end. So I think keeping Kalen Saunders as another defensive tackle makes some sense because I think the Chiefs, who have already talked about it during uh, OTAs, are going to move him around, play him some inside, some outside. So maybe want to go a little heavier on the defensive tackle position. So I've got Kalen Saunders sneaking in to the 53-man roster. I'm expecting a huge season from Chris Jones this year. Let's go to linebacker now. Five guys. Anthony Hitchens, I think he's, uh, at this point, they're going to keep him. Nothing uh, would suggest that he's not going to be on this team. Nick Bolton, Willie Gay Jr., I think for the future, that's your dynamic duo. And in three linebacker sets, those should be your starters. Hitchens, Bolton, and Willie Gay Jr. Ben Neiman, I think he'll be back. Uh, the Chiefs like him. They re-signed him. I think he makes the team. But then Dorian O'Daniel has had value on special teams. He'll be on the roster uh, bubble yet again, but I think he will sneak onto this roster for another season. I love this question here. Who will have more tackles out of these three guys for the upcoming season? Type AH for Anthony Hitchens. Type NB for Nick Bolton. Type WG for Willie Gay Jr. Hashtag free Willie, am I right? Get your votes in. Who will have the most tackles out of these three players? Let's go to cornerback now. We'll get to safety in just a moment. Um, yeah, I've got six. I, I struggle with this one because as of now, they haven't uh, re-signed Bashad Breeland. So uh, we'll see what happens there. Legereus needs CB1. Charverius Ward, as of now, he's probably your other outside corner unless DeAndre Baker uh, can prove he can be that guy. Rashad Fenton, I would guess, runs, mans the nickel. Maybe the Chiefs will lead Sne Sneed there, but I think he's an outside corner. Uh, you've got Baker making it. I think Bo Pete Keys will make it, special teams contributor. Then they traded for Mike Hughes recently. Didn't give him up, up much to give him, but a former first-round pick. 
Eichel make the roster as a special teams contributor and maybe someone who could challenge Fenton for that nickel role. I want to know from you guys, because I think he is, is Legereus Sneed ready to be a number one cornerback? Type one for yes, type two for no. I thought he was the biggest steal of the entire draft uh, in 2020, getting him in the fourth round. He played awesome as a rookie. One for yes, two for no. Is Legereus Sneed ready to be CB1? Let's go to safety now. I got four guys making it. You got Tyron Matthew at strong, but really he plays all over the field. Juan Thornhill, I think this is a big year for him. Dan Sorensen, and then Armani Watts, your special teams uh, safety there. A lot of three safety looks that the Chiefs give, uh, so I think uh, these three guys plus Watts will make it. Thornhill, I, this is a big year for him, right? Entering year three, he tore his ACL late uh, in his rookie season, and last year it took him a while uh, for him to look right again, but by the end of the year and into the playoffs, started to play a lot more, looked like he did at, uh, during his uh, the peak part of his rookie season. I think this is a big year for him, especially if uh, the Chiefs are going to keep him long term because uh, uh, the next season will be the final year of his rookie contract. So uh, year three for Juan Thornhill will be a very big one. And then your specialist, no surprises here. Harrison Butker is your kicker. Tommy Townsend is your punter. And then James Winchester is your long snapper. Those will be your three guys uh, on the uh, special teams unit. Kicker, punter, long snapper, no changes from the year before. So grade it for me. There you go, my way too early 53-man roster projection. We'll do this video at least two more times before final roster cut down day. Grade my early projection, A, B, C, D, or F. How do you think I did? Let me know, and we'll see you next time.